Hello YouTube, we're back out at the uh, secret range location and uh, we're going to do some shots with the uh, Vepper. This is my uh, 308 Vepper with the 20 inch barrel that I just picked up. And I'm going to be trying uh, three types of ammunition. I have some of this Tula uh, 150 grain. I have some of this uh, NATO ball, which I don't know what the weight is on the bullet. But I'll be trying that out. And also this uh, Hertzenberger ammo. So I'll be trying some of that and we'll see how the groups go. Let's get to it. Okay, so first up we got Tula. And then I think I'll do the Hertzenberger, whatever that German name is. And then the generic ball. Uh, next up is the brass Hertz or whatever that German name is uh, The first group is unbelievable, so I'll have to show it and then uh, shoot this in a different place for the second group Okay, and now the uh, ball ammo from God only knows where so uh, we'll try that out uh, Grouping really good so far Okay, so this is 25 yards with the new uh, Vepper. This is the first group. This is a double hole. So I didn't have to adjust the sights at all. Just right out of the box. Here's the uh, second group with the Hertz or her or whatever German word that is ammo. This was Tula. And this was the generic NATO ball. And this is me shooting just some uh, 762 by uh, 25 Tokarev out of my uh, PPS just for fun. So I'll shoot some more, move out to 100 yards, and see how the new Vepper does. All right, so here we are at 100 yards, and these are my initial five. One, two, three, four, five all over the place this is the Tula ammo one two three four and I think this is number five this was the uh, no-name NATO uh, brand which I believe I took ten shots with so be this group over here I'm up and to the right and then down here is the Hertz or German ammo, whatever that is. And as you can see, I'm all over the place. So that's with the uh, iron sights at 100 yards. This is the post range video showing the uh, Vepper 308. And in particular, I wanted to show the bolt carrier and the bolt. And the piston. So, my initial thoughts after firing this rifle are that uh, it was worth every single penny. As you see the groupings I had, I did not have to adjust the sights at all. At the 25 yards, I was right on, and any inconsistencies in the group were purely on me. Trigger is a two-stage trigger. It has an, about an eighth inch of take up, maybe a little more, and then breaks pretty clean. Um, I can't say there was anything that I really disliked about this rifle in its stock configuration. 
the only thing that I would change more than likely there's only two things I would change on this rifle more than likely number one is I've already dinged the stock so I really like this wood stock and I already put a mark on it it's not on the other side and I'm not going to show it because my rifles are for working they're not safe queens so I know I'm not graceful with my equipment so this stock I would like to change out only because I would hate to you know ding it up further and ruin it uh, same with the forend but as far as the comfort of this furniture and as far as its usefulness it uh, it's great there you know nothing bad I can say about it just for better groupings I will put a flash suppressor I will put a flash suppressor slash brake on it and uh, although the recoil is very mild with all the different ammo I shot there was never a time where I felt the rifle was uh, beating me up it was just so smooth and such a pleasure to shoot so I know that uh, I was on AK Operators Union site and a couple people were asking Rob to review this Fepper for the uh, 5,000 round challenge. If you're not planning to put that much pressure on this rifle, I can't say how it would do in the 5,000 round challenge. But just for pure aesthetics and for fit, finish, and workability, pick one of these rifles up. Uh, you will not be disappointed.